You know, there's a segue here. Phil Matier was just talking about City Hall, a San Francisco institution. The Gaia Bookstore here in Berkeley is a Berkeley institution. You can buy everything from books on intimacy to books on the tarot. You can also buy ethnic drums and wind chimes. This is a very Berkeley place, but it's a place that is unfortunately going under. It's a story that many people may have seen before in the movie You've Got Mail, courtesy of Tom Hanks and Meg Ryan. You've got mail. In Hollywood, the battle between chain stores and independent booksellers is the stuff of romantic comedy. My dad gets me all the books I want. Well, that's very nice of him. But in real life, it's more of a minor tragedy. I dread that day. I dread the day that we have to lock these doors. That day is coming for Gaia Books, and all too soon. It's a familiar tale, as one more little bookseller goes the way of the neighborhood video store the mom-and-pop grocery, and the corner cafe. Can I have a short soy mocha? Having Starbucks on every corner leads to a kind of monoculture. It leads to a kind of monotony in our public sphere. And Gaia, whose Ooh. name comes from the ancient Greek for planet Earth, stands for everything but that. I, even the bookshelves were handmade by my husband in his garage. In the chain, there, everything's made by machine, and it's the same in every store, and it's the same in every city in the country. That's not healthy. In the book trade, the big players have high volume sales and the prices to match. Online bookstores have also cornered a growing part of the market. These days, some folks do their browsing in person and their shopping online. Nicole Milne figures she's bought about 25 books that way. I don't really think of it as hurting a place like this because I think these places will still always have business even if there are online bookstores. But it does hurt. Printers Inc. in Palo Alto recently went belly up. So did two satellite stores for a clean, well-lighted place for books. On Valentine's Day, Gaia will become the latest victim. Local authors like Susan Page say they're losing more than just another retail outlet. Gaia is really a community of consciousness. It, we, Gaia is a bookstore, as many independent bookstores are, with a purpose, with a vision and a, a message. Unfortunately, that message will end come Valentine's Day. This Thursday, however, the community here at Gaia Books, both the, f the store staff and the members of the public, are invited to a town hall meeting to discuss the problems faced by independent booksellers and what Bay Area residents can do about it. Pete? Yeah,